Okay, so today I'm creating a watercolor um, painting with the masking fluid that I found at Hobby Lobby. And when I use the masking fluid, I like to get this one that has a slight yellow tint to it so I can see a little bit better on the paper. Um, unless I'm going to use a dark paper and then that would be fine too. And I just get one of my junkier, older paint brushes to use with it. I know they've got special tools out there, but I prefer to use a paintbrush, one that I'm going to throw away anyways. Um, and I try and get it to the best point I can beforehand and do that. So I started out first with my sketch and then as I applied the masking fluid, I erased a little bit, applied, erased, applied, and slowly went around. And so you can see I've got lots of little things all around the place and that's totally fine. It's not going to hurt anything. And then I started to decide what I'm going to use as my watercolors. I've got some Neo watercolor uh, soluble <coughs> crayons. I've got my colored pencils. I've got a second set of colored pencils. And then I've got my Winsor Newton uh, watercolor travel kit, which is the one I use a lot, which you can tell I kind of play around with that one a lot. So I'll probably use that one today um, for the most part. And what I'm going to try and do is a blue to black cat or a purple to black um, kind of like an eggplant color and so I don't actually buy black in a kit because I find that the Prang watercolor one does just fine and so I just use my black from there and use it um, to begin with and then I add the other color so I'm going to go ahead and get started here and I'm going to pick around I pick a round brush, so this one's just a regular number 10, nothing crazy. Um, and I go ahead and I get water into all of my colors, so I want to use a little bit of this plum burgundy color. I like that. And then I'm also going to get my black ready. And when you choose to use black, you have to be really careful because it is going to be extremely dark. So I also masked off the cat's eye because I didn't want it to be colored just yet. Once I'm done with this and I let the masking fluid uh, and the watercolor and everything dry properly, I'll take the masking fluid off and I just use my hand or a dry brush to do that in circular motions. And then I go back and I can add the color for the eyes later on. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. And you can just paint as you like. I want to do a very wishy-washy base coat here. Nothing special, just to get some color in the paper. I can make sure that I'm happy with where everything's applied. I can start to think about where I want shadows and highlights. I put a couple of stray random marks with the masking fluid just for fun just to add some texture to him but I think I want the back of him to be darkest and then go light to his face that way you can see the detail when I put the eye in as well And I'm not doing anything special right now. I'm just making sure I start in the back with the black and then work my way forward to the cat. And then I can go back with some clean water and kind of play around with how I want it to look. I was thinking about making sure that there's kind of a shadow. We'll see how I like that here in a minute. It goes behind his shoulder blade and kind of behind his leg where it would be here and then down here by the feet is where I want to start doing that burgundy so I'm going to start down near the bottom and then overlap it with the black so you have to make sure you clean out your brush a lot you don't want to get black into your original burgundy color
And make sure your paint stays wet as possible as you're doing this. Otherwise you're going to start to get a line like I have here. So I need to go back and add my black. This is probably because my heater's on right now. Since it's so cold out, everything is going to dry twice as quick when I paint. So I need to be very careful to do that. I think I want a little bit more of this plum burgundy kind of color up on his chest here as well. So it fades a little bit nicer. I can also go around and play with it down in here. I'm going to add a little bit more black just to make it stronger. Shadow and between the ears as well just so it stands out for him. And then I'm going to let this dry and we're going to play around with the eye. Once this is all dry I will come back and we will take the masking fluid off and we'll see how it all looks and what we want to touch up and play around with. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do some little splatters and things too for fun before I take that masking fluid off and then I'll do some more afterwards as well just to kind of add some extra intrigue to the picture. I want to do some with my other color as well. You know, make sure that it is going to stand out wherever you put it. Try to make a couple of bigger splotches with that plum. You have to be really careful to make sure that it looks random. Do the same thing with the black. Look like it's been splattered and uneven. Maybe even let some of it drip <laughs> on there as well. Looks like he got into a bit of a cat fight.
point I'm just playing around until I'm happy with it and just see where it will take me. Looks like he got into a big mess in the kitchen or playing around with mommy's paints and got in there and messed them all up. Got them everywhere. either. The water down so I'm black here. that there's less splatters on him more splatters around him instead there we go 